guys it's joy from printed bonnets by yovi today i'm coming to you with a recipe a simple low carb recipe for chocolate chip shortbread cookies these are delicious and at 1.5 grams per cookie you really can't go wrong with that so i'm going to get to it real quick i've gathered all my ingredients here um of course i have these uh, sugar-free hershey's cookie chocolate chips that's one of the items i also have bacon powder um, I have this organic vanilla that my sister-in-law made for me and sent to me and it's great because you know all you do is just leave the vanilla beans in there and just keep adding um, a little bit of rum to it whenever it starts to get low. I have a half a cup of erythritol, <laughs> I can never say this right, erythritol and um, it's a sugar um, substitute. I've also measured out two cups of almond flour here. I have a stick of melted butter and one large egg. So get into it really quickly. Um, the one thing you'll need is to preheat your oven for uh, to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll also need a ice cream scoop. Um, this comes in handy later on when you're trying to scoop it in and I also have this handy tool. It's a spoon but it's actually a soup spoon or a soup ladle. Um, the reason it's shaped differently than other regular spoons is that it, it has a uh, well, rather, it has a little bit of a different curve, so that makes it a lot easier when you're trying to kind of smooth out and, you know, um, the cookie. You'll see what I'm talking about a little later. So the first thing is you're just going to add all the ingredients into the bowl. There's nothing, um, you know, it's not a matter of adding one thing at a time. Just throw everything in there. Uh, that's my own flour. I'm adding my egg, so it's just one egg right here. Next, I'm going to add the melted butter. And I'll bring the screen closer a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm adding um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda or baking powder. You can use baking soda too. So, The next thing I'm going to add is my sugar substitute right here. And last but not the least, my, but actually it's not the last because I'm going to add some chocolate chip cookies, but I usually will add that later on, is the vanilla, uh, the vanilla extract. And this is just one tablespoon right here. Measure it up and add it. If you want it to have a little more vanilla, you can do that as well. Um, or you can add a different flavor. You know, you really can't go wrong with it. I personally like the wrong flavor, so I think I prefer to have the vanilla in there. Um, and then... I add my chocolate chips and this I just eyeball I don't really add a lot of it because I'm making 18 this actually makes a total of 18 cookies it's a very quick simple easy recipe and all you're doing is going is mixing it all together I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here so um, you're going to try to make it into more of a dough consistency. So you just mix it all up till it's fully incorporated. Move the sugar over here because it was sitting in my way. And I typically would go with a little um, under or a little under half a scoop so just about this amount and I put it on parchment paper um, you don't need a lot it might seem like a little bit of a wet recipe but um, as long as you just you know portion it out it's fine and as long as you have all the ingredients in there it'll cook just fine it actually makes a total of 18. I might have a little less because I want a little um, larger cookies. Um, just so, because I know my little girls are going to want some. And I don't want them to eat all my cookies. So if I fill them up with a larger portion size, they will leave it alone. Um, but basically, this is a very simple recipe. If you're doing low carbs like I have been doing since... Uh, let's see, I've been doing low carb now since 2017 and it's 
basically what people say it's, it's a lifestyle like you know you change a lot of things about how you eat and when you eat i think for me i try to avoid eating anything after 7 p.m at night just because um i feel like it sits in my stomach for a lot longer so i try not to do that so now i have three six I know obviously I can't count <laughs> three, so I have six and 12 right now, and I still have quite a bit left. So I'm gonna try to put some additional ones on the side here um, to make a total of 16. So it looks like I'm actually gonna have, actually no, I'm gonna have more than that. So I'll just put it all on there. I have a little bit. And they're good sized cookies too, so you know, even if they're their dough makes things a little different, you can just um, portion size it the way you want. It's all about what you want to do. So just showing you right here, these are the cookies, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using the spoon here to kind of push them down a little bit. So just um, stay tuned, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like shortly. So I'm not a, normally someone who does a lot of baking. I think, you know, the funny thing is I grew up with a mom who owned a bakery. My mom used to own a bakery. And um, I know she tried to teach me a lot about baking, but I think the skill set I actually got more was for cooking. I'm more someone who cooks savory dishes, but I've been venturing into cook, uh, making, you know, baking a little bit more because my girls love um, the different things I make. So I figured, hey, why not, right? So again, these don't have to be perfect. After all, they're gonna get eaten and your stomach does not discriminate between round versus square cookies, so. And yes, if you notice, I am wearing a bonnet from one of our collection. This is actually from the Marley African Print Collection. And you can find, um, I believe this one is sold out, but you can find others on www.printedbonnet.com. Uh, so I'm just about done with the cookies here, and I'll show you exactly what they look like. It's I'm not making them to look perfect. I'm just making them to look a little rounded and kind of, you know, um, pressing down on them a bit so they look a little flatter versus how they look, they look they looked originally. So, again, because I'm using melted butter, um, eventually you'll see that it'll harden a little bit as it comes to room temperature, so don't feel like you have to... Um, add any additional ingredients. These work out just great and they taste just great coming out of the oven. Um, I try my best not to eat any beforehand. Um, 12, 15, 17. But um, this is the final product. I'm just going to show you real quick. Sorry for the camera movements. But this is what it all looks like. These are the cookies, and they're all gonna go into a 300 degree Fahrenheit um, oven, which my oven has already been preheated. And um, it's gonna cook for approximately 12 to 14 minutes. It depends on the altitude where you are. So, um, you know, sometimes it'll cook faster at 12 minutes. Sometimes it'll cook slower, but that's what it looks like in the oven. And I'm just going to set the temperature right here for 12 minutes and it'll be ready shortly. Um, once they're ready, I'll be sure to share pictures with you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this recipe. Please um, be sure to subscribe and also visit our website at www.printedbonnet.com. Have a wonderful day.